If you're like me, when you think about Sergeant Carter from the classic Andy Griffith spin-off Gomer Pyle USMC, you're often stuck with an image of Sarge berating Gomer in one way or another. Despite all the yelling, Gomer never took it the wrong way because he knew that if you look past all of Sergeant Carter's bluster, there was a man with a heart of gold. Similarly, the actor who played Sarge was a man of incredible values, full of integrity, and most importantly, just like Sergeant Carter, he had a heart of gold. Frank Sutton played the cynical and easily exasperated gunnery sergeant Vince Carter opposite Jim Neighbors character Gomer Pyle for five seasons until the show ended its run in 1969. That role made him famous and he will always be remembered as Sarge. But I've got to say there is another side to Frank Sutton that I find way more inspirational. It is that story that I want to share today. I want to pay tribute to the man that Sutton was off screen because there, my friends, was a human being of great worth. According to Wikipedia, Sutton was born in the very fine town of Clarksville, Tennessee, where he developed an interest in acting early in life, and by the time he was a student at East Nashville High School, he knew that he wanted to be some sort of entertainer. However, after high school, he was filled with patriotism, and Sutton tried to enlist in both the Navy and Marine Corps. However, he was turned down for a variety of health reasons, Ever persistent, Sutton successfully enlisted in the U.S. Army and served in the South Pacific, taking part in 14 assault landings. Ironically, when Sutton left the military in 1946, he had attained the rank of sergeant in the 293rd Joint Assault Signal Company and had been awarded both the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart. During a time in the 1960s when the military was being opposed both verbally and physically, Sutton made the somewhat risky decision to put on a one-man comedy show between the 1966-67 season of Gomer Pyle. He did this at his own expense, traveling to Vietnam and putting on 56 shows in eight days as Sergeant Carter. He said having experienced warfare himself, he wanted to bring what pleasure he could to the troops in Vietnam. Sutton enjoyed that so much that when he returned home, he revamped the same routine and took it to troops across the United States, focusing mostly on those that had come back injured from the war. During the final three years of Gomer Pyle, you could say that Frank Sutton was a very busy man. He spent an endless number of weekends at military functions, free of charge, and the servicemen loved him. Despite having been turned away from the Marines and Navy decades earlier, the Marine Corps made him an honorary sergeant, and the icing on the cake was that he was also made an honorary naval aviator with the rank of colonel in the Texas Navy. I've already touched briefly on Sutton's greatest role as gunnery sergeant Vince Carter on Gomer Pyle USMC. For more information, however, check out my other video about the truly special relationship between Frank Sutton and Jim Neighbors. They were such good friends, and Neighbors' loyalty to Sutton, well, it came with a price. Click on the link in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to learn more. And then, in 1974, tragedy struck. On June 28, Frank Sutton died at age 50 of an apparent heart attack while preparing to go on stage in Shreveport, Louisiana at the Beverly Dinner Playhouse. Ever the family man, his wife Toby and daughter Amanda, 10 years old, were with him when he was rehearsing. Sadly, his son Joseph was away at college when the tragedy occurred. Gone way too soon, but let's end this video on a high note. In 2017, Sutton's hometown erected this statue in honor of his life. Not the life of Gunnery Sergeant Vince Carter, but rather the life of Frank Sutton. I hope you find his life as inspiring as I do. Let me know in the comments section below and while you're at it, please click on the thumbs up icon and why not consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television, mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.